My question is for Mr. Lamarche. Yes. I've, uh, I've heard of him. <laughs> Monsieur Lamarche. Yes. I've heard you do some of the uh, sound effects, specifically the belches for Wacko. Oh. Oh, I was, I'm uh, so glad you I am that. too, man. <laughs> I am I too. Just, now wait, he's going to have plenty of time. <laughs> this man, if we could hear an me. example of that. Oh, yes. Oh, you're going to hear an example of that. <laughs> you might as well get, just get yourself That's relaxed. Why? Trust me. See, at least here you guys are on a fault line. Not Dude. when he starts doing that shit. <laughs> it's all. He, we were kind of, I remember the producers were kind of looking for something, and how, I don't know how it came about, but it was so clear that Maurice did this otherworldly sound <laughs> that ultimately oh. it was was pitch shifted and and oh. all that and, and was used in the great rock wakarati well, so over and over. have such a unique gift that is able to be musicalized. <laughs> it's so and, and before I put now I'm gonna add my two cents. So here, you know, I, I'm playing Wacko, right? And they, they give me this script and it says, so Wacko comes out and goes, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to sing, you know, jingle bells. And then it's like it belches jingle bells, whatever. And I'm and I'm literally thinking, well, I can do a lot of stuff, you know, with with my voice, but. I really can't belch on command. I know a lot of frat guys can, but I can't. <laughs> and I'm like, uh-oh, what if they don't like me? They're gonna get mad at me, and now, you know, and I'm sitting at home trying to drink a lot of soda, and I'm like getting tiny little, and it's like, oh man, they're gonna fire me, right? So I go into the session, I don't know if you know this, if Mo knows this, I went into the session, and I said, gosh, Andrea, our director, I said, I'm, I feel so bad, and I didn't sleep or anything, because I don't want to make anybody mad, but I don't think I can belch jingle bells. And she goes, oh, don't worry, we got, we can have it covered. And I'm like, what are you talking about? <laughs> What they did, okay. I, 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 since I'm a little kid, um, I used to hold up uh, plastic puke. Remember plastic puke, rubber puke? Yeah. I used to fold it up in fifth grade and palm it, and I, and I go, teacher, I'm not feeling like very well, and then I go like this, and I drop it, and I go. Rich Stone, the late, great Richard Stone, said what we'll do is you just sing scales in that and we'll sample it and I'll put it on a keyboard. So really, I mean, it's a, it's a collaboration of, of musicianship and my, and they sampled literally every note on the scale and, and half tones as well. Oh my God. And so, I, don't like, I don't know if I can solo it or not, but I, okay, let's, let's, um, I think I can do, uh, can do Dan, you better than you. Yeah, I got it. I got it. <laughs> <laughs> My brother Jason does that better than I do. I taught it to him. He's got more resonance. You can actually hear pieces of corn. <laughs> 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 